Good morning everyone, it is another wonderful day. You might be wondering who I am. Ako nga pala si Miguel. Morning Kuya Miguel. Morning Miguel and Joseph. Morning Miguel, Joseph and Zach. Good morning Miguel, Joseph, Zach and Darko. Good morning Miguel, Joseph, Zach, Darko and Jose. I am David. Oh, nakakagulat naman kayo. Ang dami pala nating here today. Yes, Queen Miguel. And we will be your Kabas colleagues for this special day. Special day? Why is this day special? Marco, today's special day. We are going to celebrate our teacher's day. Tama pa yan, Kuya David. Because our teachers are special, we have prepared something special for them. This is our way to let them know that we have we appreciate them for everything that they have been doing for us. And we hope that they will enjoy this. So what are we waiting for? Welcome everyone to all. What's going on? Like your teacher. Hindi po ba sila mahigpit since you are graduating? Hindi naman, Joseph. Mababait naman sila at super accommodating. With all our questions, wait! Bigla akong may naalala. When you say about nakakatakot na teacher, once when I was your age, I heard the story about the boy who was afraid of his teacher. Gusto mo bang malaman kung bakit? That seems to be interesting. I want to hear that story, Kuya Zach. Story? Sorry. 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 At guhit ni Joy Baer. Wow! Ayoko po pang pumasok, nanay. Malakas na balakaw ni Andy habang hawak siya sa kamay ng ganyang nanay patungo sa eskwela. 
Unang araw ni Andy sa paaralan, siya ay nasa unang grado. Mayroon siyang bagong bag, limang bagong kwaderno, bagong uniform at itim na sapatos, at mga bagong libro. Lahat ng kanyang gamit ay bago, kaya tiyak na masaya mag-aral sa eskwela. Pero ayaw pumasok ni Andy sa klase. Kahit bago ang kanyang mga gamit, ay natatakot siyang pumasok. Huwag mo po akong iwan, nanay! Malakas sa sigaw ni Andy. Ayaw niya magpaiwan sa eskwalahan. Hindi na kasi ito katulad noong nasa kindergarten siya. Bago ang lugar na ito sa kanya at hindi niya kilala ang mga taong nasa paligid niya. Isang mabait na gwardiya ang lumapit sa kanila at hinawakan si Andy sa kamay. Natakot siya sa gwardiya at biglang tumahimik. Sinamahan siya nito sa mga nakapilang estudyante sa malawak na quadrangle. Sabay-sabay nilang inawit ang lupang hinirang at minagkas ang panatang makabayan. Huminto muna si Andy sa pag-iyak. Inisip niya baka mapagalitan siya ng kanyang guro. Pumila muli ang mga bata sa pagpasok sa kanilang silid-aralan. Walang ideya si Andy sa susunod na mangyayari. Bagong pintura ang upaan sa bawat silid. May pisarang pagkalaki-laki. May iba't ibang larawan at mga putas, hayo, at mga bayani na nakadikit sa dingding. Mayroon din mga titik at mga numero na kapiskil sa paligid. May ingilang libro at laruan sa mga aparador. Kaaya-aya man ang paligid ay tila hindi pa rin mababakas sa mukha ni Andy ang tuwa. Nagpakilala ang kanilang teacher. Magandang umaga sa inyo. Ako si Binibining Tigre. Ako ang magiging guru nyo. Sabi niya, Binibining Tigre? Bulong ni Andy sa salili. Habang abala ang kanilang guro, Narinig ni Andy ang usapan na ilan sa kanilang mga kaklase. Pinag-uusapan nila kung bakit binibining tigre ang pangalan ng kanilang guro. Hala, ba't ganoon ang pangalan ni teacher? Nakakatakot! Bulo ng isang niyang kaklase. Baka hindi siya totoong tao. Sagot ng isa pa. Kaya pala takot ang mga pinsan ko sa teacher. Oo nga, baka nga tigres teacher. Baka ikulong niya tayo rito, pagkatapos ay kakainin na tayong lahat. Nakakatakot nga. Dagdag naman ng isa. Kinilabutan si Andy sa narini. Takot siya sa mga mababangis na hayop. Kung ano-anong bagay ang naglaro sa kanyang isipan. Naisip niya si Binibining Tigre ay may mata nagbabago na anyo. Ama ito ay naging bilog na bilog at dilaw na dilaw. Malilisik ang mga ito kapag sila ay namulit at nagingay. Baka sa binibining tigre ay may mga mahaba at matatal sa kuko. Kapag may malikot ay lalabas sa mga ito. Hindi lang ba sa mangurot, baka may kasama pang kalmot. Baka siya rin ay may mga matatalim at nakatakot na pangil. Naku! Ang sakit siguro ng kagat nito! Wow! May tigre! Sigaw ni Andy. Sa labi sa takot ay hindi niya napigilang umiyak na malakas. Nagulat ang kanya mga kaklase. Lumaki naman sa kanya si Binibining Tigre at kinausap siya. Anong nangyari sa'yo? Tanong ng kanyang guro. Umiling lamang si Andy habang patuloy na umiiyak. May masakit ba sa'yo? Tanong na binibining tigre. Umiling lamang si Andy. Sigurado ka ba? Sabihin mo sa akin at makikinig ako. Ani binibining tigre. Natahimik at napaisip na malalim si Andy. Teacher, kakainin ninyo po ba ka kami? Nanginig na tanong ni Andy. Kasi po, tigre po kayo, ba? Diba? Natawa si Binibining Tigre. Naku, hindi mangyayari yun. Hindi ako isang tigre. Apelido ko lamang yun. Sinandan pa ng mahinhing tawa ang sinabi. Kagaya mo ay tao rin ako. 
Tahan na, Andy. Marami tayong gagawin na ikatutuwa niyo. Papa, teacher, sagot ni Andy. Tumahan na si Andy. Nagsimula na rin magkwento at nakipaglaro sa kanila si Binibini Tigre. Tuwang-tuwa ang lahat. Sa halip na nanilisik na mamata, ay ang singkit na nakangiting mata ang numitaw sa mukha ng kanilang guro. Nang dumating na ang risas, ay tinuro naman ito ang tamang paghuhugas sa kamay bago kumain. Bawat isa sa kanila ay tinulungan na Binibini Tigre. Sa halip na mga matatala sa kuko, ay malalambot na kamay ang humaplos sa kanila. Nagpaligsahan naman sila sa pagguhit at pagkulay. Tuwang-tuwa si Binibini Tigre sa kanilang husay. Sa halip na matatalim na mga ngipin, ay matatamis ang ngiti ang limitaw mula sa kanyang labi. Walang nalisik na mga matata, matatalas na kuko at matatalim ng ngipin. Tunay na mabait ang mahalaga ang kanilang teacher. Hindi naman pala totoong tigre sa binibini tigre eh. Sabi ni Andy sa kanyang sarili. Masaya naman pala sa aming klase. Simula noon ay hindi na natatakot pumasok sa eskwela si Andy. Lagi na siyang nasasabik matuto. Hindi na rin siya iyahin dahil lagi masaya sa kanilang klase. Higit sa lahat, gusto gusto ni Andy ang makin sa mga itinuturo at ginagkwento sa kanyang guro kahit na binibini tigre pa ang pangalan nito. Para sa next story, gusto ka naman din ba, Miguel? Yes, David. Nakakatawa si Andy. He got afraid just because the name of his teacher. But well, at least he learned at the end that he has nothing to be afraid of. You're correct, Miguel. Actually, we should not be afraid of our teachers. Siguro nga, minsan, mapagsasabihan tayo. Pero, that's not a reason for us to be afraid of them. They actually do that out of their love and concern for us. Tama ka, John David. Our teachers love us, so we should love them as well. Ikaw, David, mahal mo ba ang teachers mo? Of course, Miguel. Because I consider them as my second parents. Ay, tanong ko lang. Since you love them and they are special to you, what is your best memory of a teacher? Ah, marami. What stands out is the most recent one. It happened last year. I had an important encounter with a fellow Bostonian. It was not easy for me to talk about it. But because I trust my class advisor, I told her my side of the story. She listened to me without judgment but instead with complete empathy. She supported me and made me feel comforted and safe. I know that standing up for myself in that situation was the right thing to do. Seems to be a very inspiring and memorable story. But you know what, Miguel? Di ako lang yung my version of best teacher story. Talaga? Eh, sino pa? Sila, Arka Bosco Litz. Sige, David. Let's listen to their stories. Tara. Hi guys, my name is Lucita Tulueta and I am a student volunteer. So Tulueta inspired me to be one of the scout, but not only to be a scout. He inspired me to help other people like a real scout Louie. Hi, I am Miko Vapura from Grade 6 Caravario. My unforgettable teacher story is with Sir Ragos. He has a positive mindset and outlook in life. He kept me and my classmates heads up even though he taught us only for one year. One teacher I always remember and
followed by Ms. Manu Sibaya. She was my class advisor in kindergarten. She is a very cheerful and loving teacher. She never fails to give me a tight hug and a big smile every time we meet. Ms. Sibaya inspired me to love math, my favorite subject. We are able to simply understand the complexities of a lot of things through the mentoring of our teachers. Hello, I'm Jaros Angelo Ayarrejo from Grade 6 Sunday, and this is my Unforgettable Teacher Story. My Unforgettable Teacher Story is with Mr. Lopez. He is a great teacher with a playful mind and a kind heart. He taught us great life lessons that, for all of us that we will apply in the future, even though we were just together for one year. Gabriel Felix, and I'm gonna tell you a moment where a teacher impacted my life. There was this one time in my class where I embarrassed myself in front of my classmates. I was so sad, like I wanted to disappear and start a new life in Mexico. When the teacher saw me crying, she comforted me saying it's okay and stuff like that. She also told my classmates not to laugh at me. That's when I realized that teachers don't only help you educationally, they also help you in your mental state. My most unforgettable moment that my teacher has done that made an impact on me was grade 1. I broke my classmate's pencil case accidentally, but my teacher treated me nicely and just gave me a warning. I felt that my teacher did this for me to learn. From then on, I never got a bad remark and always stayed behaved. And I got 100% conduct in four consecutive years. A world without a teacher is like walking and finding our way out in vast darkness by ourselves. Teachers ignite our potentials and aspirations, paving the way for a kaleidoscopic a world without teachers is a world with no values, skill, and knowledge. A world would be meaningless if teachers didn't exist. That's why teachers are very important to us. Teachers are important in our society because they help us to grow. I like second models. They take care of me. They help me carry my bags up and down the stairs. They teach me what I know now. Without them, I don't know. Without teachers, will be in ruin. Teachers are people we need. Without them, we won't learn anything. Imagine a life without teachers. It's already pretty hard to imagine and it will be pretty chaotic. That's when I realized that teachers don't only teach us, they're like an extension of our family, our second parents outside of home. They don't only teach us stuff, they can also help us with our hobbies, enhance our skills and more so on stuff like that. I guess the world is a better place with our teachers here to help us. We salute to all teachers and we thank you. Thank you. Stay safe and happy Teachers Day. Nadinig mo ba yung mga kinuwento ni David kay Miguel? Yes, Jose. Those were heartwarming stories from our Kabosko Lits. Madami palang ginagawa ang mga teachers para sa kanila. Tama ka dyan. Nakatuwa pakinggan talaga ang mga kuwento nila tungkol sa kanilang mga naging guro. Diba? Sinaselebrate natin ang Teacher's Day. Gusto ko sanang bumili ng regalo to make them happy. Bawal lumabas ngayon, Darko. Oo nga pala, no? Eh, bakit ka pabibili kung pwede mo naman sila mapasaya sa ibang paraan? Sa bagay, pwede siguro akong gumawa ng card instead of buying gift. Or, I could give them my sweetest smile and greet them. Pwede yan, Darko. At bukod dyan, meron akong gustong ishare sa iyo. Ano naman yun? Eh, di yung the 10 things that can make your teacher happy. 10 things? Wow, ang dami ha! 
Hindi ito kailangang bilhin? Hindi, Garko. Wow! Gusto ko yan. Paano ba yan? Ito, oh. Hey everyone! Welcome to our Boss Colette Vlog! This is the first vlog we are going to make and this vlog is very special because we are celebrating our Teacher's Day. And since we are celebrating our Teacher's Day, we think there's no better way to do this than to talk about the things that we can do to make our teachers happy. Are you ready, Boscanians? Are you ready, team vloggers? Yes, yes we, are, we ready. are ready! So here's our own version of 10 things that we can do to make our teachers happy. During this time of pandemic, our teachers have been working even harder and making double efforts just to give us that quality of education we all need. Yes, like us, they are adjusting too, so it would make them really happy if we could make things easier for them. We could do that by doing the following. First is be on time during classes. Wake up early so that you will be able to join your class. Being on time is a sign of respect. Second is, be attentive in class. Pay attention. Avoid opening other tabs or doing other things during class. You will only not make your teacher happy, but you will help yourself learn a lot. Refrain from doing unnecessary things during class that would disturb the discussion. Chatting unnecessary messages in the chat box is a big no. Fourth on our list is be responsible. Do your homeworks and assign tasks and don't just do them for doing for the sake of doing them, but do your ordinary duties extraordinarily well because we are Busconians and that will make them extraordinarily happy. The fifth way to make our teachers happy is to follow the teacher's rules. Turn on your camera, mute your microphone, and use the chat box only when necessary. These are simple things but make a big impact for them. For our sixth way to make our teachers happy, be honest. Now for our seventh way, we have to be respectful. Who wouldn't be happy if students treat their teachers with respect from simply listening to them while they are talking to being courteous when you are talking to them? These are some of the many ways to show respect. Number eight is be participative. is to be grateful. Appreciate your teacher. Appreciating could really brighten someone's day and even make a big impact on one's life. 
a simple thank you teacher could win a thousand smiles on their face and warmth to their hearts. Let us not forget to be grateful to the people who do a lot for us. We know that it is their job to teach us, but they do more than that. They love and care for us, and no amount of money can repay those. They are indeed priceless. Lastly, for the tenth way to make our teacher happy, we should pray for them. Praying for someone is a way to show that you love and value them. Thus, we should pray for our teachers. We may see them happy, but they too are having difficulty or troubles, most especially in these trying times. Let us continue to pray that God may bless them a thousandfold for selflessly giving everything that they can add to educate and evangelize us. There you have it, our dear Kabos Kolit, our very own 10 things that we can do to make our teachers happy. We know that you might have some other great ideas on making our teachers happy, and we will be glad to know them. Just put your comment in this video once this is uploaded, so that we will know your ways on how to make them happy. So that would be all for this episode. See you all in our next vlog. And for our teachers again, we all greet you. Happy, Happy Teacher's, Teacher's Day! Day. Thank, Thank you, you. We, we love, love you, you. and bye! bye. Darko. Oo nga. Binigyan mo ako, pati sila, ng idea kung ano ang gagawin para mapasaya ang mga teachers. At hindi lang ngayong Teacher's Day, kundi everyday. Jose, Darko! Ano yan, Zach? Naalala niyo po ba yung game natin last time dito sa Bosco Lit? Ah, yung Bring Me Take a Pick? Oo nga, yun nga. Do you know who are the winners? Oo nga. Sino-sino nga ba mga winners for that game? Ito po, oh.
ready, set, go! Mr. Costa! Here, ATM. ATM starts with A. The same with the starting letter of Miss Acosta's name. Very good, Miguel. One point, Cap. Next, Mrs. Cordero. Cap. Cap starts with the letter C. The same with the initial letter of Mrs. Cordero's name. Okay, Jack. Okay, Ginang Toledano. T-shirt. T-shirt naman for T. Para sa unang letra sa pangalan ni Ginang Toledano. Wow, mamusay. Two points ka na, Zach. Mga kuya, ano po ang ginagawa niyo? We are playing Joseph. Would you like to join? Wow, gusto ko yan. Pero, pwede din ba natin sila isali? Pwede naman, Joseph. Pero, iibahin natin ang laro natin para lahat makasali. Ano kaya pwede? Hmm. Ah! Alam ko na. Ito. What is that? This is called Bingo Park. Because it is Teacher's Day, we will call this Teacher's Bingo Park. I know all our Moscones out there have this as well. And what are we going to do with that? Very simple. When a teacher's name is called out, all you have to do is mark the name with X. How will you know if you already won? If all the names of the teachers you have written were already called, that's the time you'll be announced as winner. O kayo mga Moscones, kapag lahat ng pangalan na meron kayo sa card ay natawag na, and you were able to cross them out, all you have to do is tell your teacher. Ang paunahan nito kung sino ang unang makatross out ng things based sa mga tinawag, Tama ka, David. So, ready na ba kayo? Ready, ready na! Let's start!
Did you enjoy the game, Joseph? Yes, Queen David. Thank you for letting me join. And for the rest of our Basconians who joined, we will announce the winners next time. I'm excited to know who the winners are. Pero, teka, nakita mo ba sila ang Jose at Torco? Parang kanina ko pa sila hindi nakikita. Ako, Kuya David, they seem to be doing something. Parang may surprise ata sila. Talaga? Ano kaya yun? Yeah. Oh, ito na pala si Kuya Jose. Tanungin natin. Jose, anong ginawa niyo ni Darko? Sabi ni Joseph parang may surprise kayo. Tama, David. Tinulungan namin si Darko gumawa ng card for Teacher's Day. Kanina kasi, nag-uusap kami. At gusto niya gumawa. So, tinapos na namin. And we even let the others write their messages. Gusto niya ba makita? Sige, Kuya Jose. Ito, Nakita mo ba yung card na ginawa namin? Yes, Darko. Magsusaya ang pagkakagawa and the messages are very heartwarming. I'm sure our teachers appreciate those thoughtfulness. I hope we made them happy with it. I'm sure we had. And they will become even happier if they will hear this. Ang alin? The song that we dedicated for them. Here it is. So good, it's true. So glad that I have you. You love me so. Now all that's bright, I'll always thank you for the glow and thank you for the joy. Because
It was a very wonderful song to cap this celebration. I agree with you, Kuya Miguel. We hope we made this day special, even with our simple efforts. Right, Zach. Sana we made our teachers very happy today. I'm sure they're happy. And for now, we need to say goodbye to our fellow Kaboskalites and to our dear teachers. Once again, Happy Teacher's Day! Thank you everyone and see you on another episode of Bosco Link!